promises of God. Stand me in, stand me in, stand in on the promises of God, my Savior. before we reach, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We are asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, Instruct us, teach us, as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. The Book of the Prophet Ezekiel The Book of the Prophet Ezekiel Chapter 7 
Chapter 7 Moreover the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord God unto the land of Israel, An end, the end, is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And mine eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity. But I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, An evil, an only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come. The day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee, and accomplish mine anger upon thee. And I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. And mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am the Lord that smiteth. Behold the day, behold, it is come. The morning is gone forth. The rod hath blossomed. Pride hath budded. Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor of any of theirs. Neither shall there be wailing for them. The time is come, the day draweth near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. For the seller shall not return to that which is sold, although they were yet alive. For the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return. Neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. They have blown the trumpet, even to make all ready. But none goeth to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. But they that escape of them shall escape, and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys, all of them mourning, every one for his iniquity. All hands shall be feeble, and all knees shall be weak as water. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them, and shame shall be upon all faces, and baldness upon all their heads. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. As for the beauty of his ornament, he set it in majesty, but they made the images of their abominations and of their detestable things therein. Therefore have I set it far from them. And I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey, and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil, and they shall pollute it. My face will I turn also from them, and they shall pollute my secret place, for the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crimes, and the city is full of violence. Wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest, and counsel from the ancients. The king shall mourn, and the prince shall be clothed with desolation, and the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their way, and according to their deserts will I judge them, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Chapter 8 And it came to pass in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I sat in mine house, and the elders of Judah sat before me, that the hand of the Lord God fell there upon me. 
Then I beheld, and lo, a likeness as the appearance of fire, from the appearance of his loins even downward fire, and from his loins even upward as the appearance of brightness, as the color of amber. And he put forth the form of an hand, and took me by a lock of mine head, and the Spirit lifted me up between the earth and the heaven, and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem, to the door of the inner gate that looketh toward the north, where was the seat of the image of jealousy, which provoketh to jealousy. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel was there, according to the vision that I saw in the plain. Then said he unto me, Son of man, lift up thine eyes now the way toward the north. So I lifted up mine eyes the way toward the north, and behold northward at the gate of the altar this image of jealousy in the entry. He said furthermore unto me, Son of man, seest thou what they do? Even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary? But turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. And he brought me to the door of the court, and when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door. And he said unto me, Go in, and behold the wicked abominations that they do here. So I went in and saw, and behold every form of creeping things and abominable beasts, and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. And there stood before them seventy men of the ancients of the house of Israel, and in the midst of them stood Jeazaniah, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark, every man in the chambers of his imagery? For they say, The Lord seeth us not, the Lord hath forsaken the earth. He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north. And behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. Then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, and their faces toward the east, and they worshipped the sun toward the east. Then he said unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence, and have returned to provoke me to anger, and lo, they put the branch to their nose. Therefore will I also deal in fury, Mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. And though they cry in mine ears with a loud voice, yet will I not hear them. Chapter 9 He cried also in mine ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lieth toward the north and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with a writer's inkhorn by his side. And they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. And the glory of the God of Israel was gone up from the cherub, whereupon he was to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city, and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. And he said unto them, Defile the house, and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth. And they went forth, and slew in the city. 
And it came to pass, while they were slaying them, and I was left, that I fell upon my face and cried and said, Ah, Lord God, wilt thou destroy all the residue of Israel in thy pouring out of thy fury upon Jerusalem? Then said he unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great, and the land is full of blood, and the city full of perverseness. For they say, The Lord hath forsaken the earth, and the Lord seeth not. And as for me also, mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense their way upon their head. And behold, the man clothed with linen, which had the inkhorn by his side, reported the matter, saying, I have done as thou hast commanded me. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you have learned in the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray.
soar like an eagle to the sky among the peaks my soul can be found but an unexpected storm may drive me from the heights it may bring me low but it can never bring me down I dimension, bringing the Monday Bible study to a new progression. To attend early must be your new decision. I welcome everyone to our Bible study tonight. Monday Bible study with Pastor W.F. Kumuyi now starts exactly 10 minutes before 6 p.m. Nigerian time, 5.50 West African time, 17.50 GMT every Monday from September 6, 2021. Now featuring soul-inspiring choir songs from nations all over the world and states across Nigeria with a special spiritual injection for evangelism. Please attend the nearest Deeper Life Bible Church location or connect any of our social media platforms. A new dimension of the Monday Bible Study, The Believer's Backbone with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. By the use of social media, are you turning anyone to Christ? Make a new decision to attend early. Join us. You are beginning a new journey. A new journey is loading. After this divine touch with total freedom, a new journey will begin in your life.
God. The tree is moving from divine touch to divine solution. Something spectacular, something extraordinary. Get ready to experience the September edition of the ongoing Global Crusade with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. Divine solution for all. Live from the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, and directly to the world, their satellite and all our social media platforms. And when you and I connect together, there will be an explosion of miracle in your life. Friday, 24th September till Sunday, 3rd October, 2021. Get set. Spread the news to family and friends. Divine solution for all is coming your way. The Lord will turn everything around in your life. Be prepared. Hallelujah. I'm bringing you glad tidings. I'm bearing good news. I'm bringing global news. And that's with regards to our next global crusade next month, September. By the grace of the Lord, it's double portion. And the theme is divine solution for all, all, young, old, men, women, educated, illiterate, all countries globally divine solution for all has come so as we are finishing today the climax of this divine touch being today begin to get ready for another one in the month of september and the venue is no other place other than the federal capital territory abuja Abuja people, I envy you. Double portion. Double portion. And let's all begin to mobilize all the natives of social media, all the citizens of social media, with two ever handle, and all the indigenous of social media, including the visitors to social media. We must all now begin to activate another platform for everyone to get connected. Immediately we finish tonight, there is need for us to carry out post-mortem of this particular divine touch crusade, where there is a man to be made in preparation for the global crusade, divine solution for all. We make all the necessary amends and get prepared so that this particular one next month Divine solution for all will produce greater result, greater impact than what we have seen. And it will be coming to us live from Abuja, Federal Capital Territory in Nigeria. Let's all begin to pray. Pray for our Father in the Lord. God has directed him that we go this particular route and we begin to lift him up in prayer as he has been guided by the Lord for strength, for anointing for greater manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit so that what we have seen in this particular divine touch will be nothing compared to what we are going to see in the global crusade, divine solution for all. You must be a partaker. I am going to be a partaker. Let's mobilize everybody everywhere and the Lord God Almighty will never disappoint us. Thank you very much. God bless you. The dates are going to be from the 24th of September, 24th of September to Sunday, 3rd of October. I repeat it again. Friday, 24th of September to Sunday, 3rd of October. Begin to make preparation. Begin to make arrangement so that you will be a partaker of this divine solution for all 24th of september to 3rd of october what a wonderful period 10 full days 10 full days packed with miracles signs and wonders god bless you be there because i will be there our father in the lord will be there 
with multiple anointing, extended gifts of the Spirit. You will see it manifested during that global crusade. God bless every one of you. Thank you very much.